So another Andy B two minute video. And I've been thinking about stuff that grows. Now, when I was a little boy, my nan had a beautiful garden. There were loads of flowers everywhere. And I remember looking at them first thing in the morning and there was one little patch. The sun hadn't quite reached the, uh, the, the, the flowers. And there was this sort of bunched up thing. And I knew that inside were the petals. So I thought, well, I'll help it out, innocence of childhood. And I helped it out and I, I, I peeled back the outer layer and I peeled back the inner layers and I, I helped it to, uh, to be a flower and for the petal to be out. And ultimately I killed that little plant. Now recently we've uh, started growing some sunflower seeds and it went wrong because as we, as we grew these seeds, well, nothing really happened. Nathan's grew, but ours didn't. So we thought, well, let's try again. We put some more in. We read up a little bit more and we realized maybe what we've done is put too much water in. You can rot the seed before it has a chance to grow. And now we've got five plants coming out of five pots, which is awesome. So often in life, we, we try and help. Sometimes we think, well, we'll give God a hand. We've prayed for this. We've asked God to help us. He hasn't done it, so he must need our help. So what we'll do, we'll give God a hand and we'll get involved ourselves. But the thing is, God doesn't need our help to accomplish his plans for our lives. He chooses to work with us. He chooses to work through others and through us and in us. But he doesn't need our help to accomplish his plans and desires in our life. Just like that plant that I helped to grow, I eventually killed that little, that little flower. And our sunflower seeds, well, it went wrong. We put some more in and we have to let it grow. But as it grows through the soil, it's strengthening. And that strengthening is key because we want the, we want the petals to be out. We want the, the fruit. We want, we want the conclusion. But actually, when we're walking with God, what we need to be doing is allowing him to work at his pace, working within his rhythm. And if we do that, that flower that's all bunched up will grow into a beautiful petal and you'll see the colors and you can smell the scent. Let's not push things. Let's wait for God to do his thing in our lives so we can accomplish his desires for our lives. Because his desires are better than ours. But sometimes you just need to be a little bit patient. Just a thought.